In this video, let's learn about the histopathology of the Jain cell tumor of the bone. The Jain cell tumor of the bone is a type of benign that is non-cancerous tumor which generally occurs between the ages 20 to 40. So it is a benign that is non-cancerous that arises in adults of 20 to 40 year of age that is when the skeletal growth of the bone is complete. The Jain cell tumor of the bone usually develops at the end of the bones. So if this is a bone, it usually occurs at the end of a bone in the age groups of 20 to 40 years. Coming to the gross appearance, the size of the tumor varies and it is a well circumscribed tumor. It is firm to soft and on palpation, it produces a crackling of an eggshell sound. The cross section of the tumor, it shows solid and cystic tan and light brown areas with intertwining fibrous trabeculae in areas of hemorrhage. And in the cross section, the cortex is thin. And coming to the microscopic appearance of the Jane cell tumor of the bone, in the microscopy, two main components are seen. These are the Jane cells and the stromal component. So in this diagram, these are the stromal cells, which are neoplastic cells, and these are mononuclear, spindle, ovoid to round in shape with scanty cytoplasm and the plump central nuclei with the nucleoli are present. So the stromal cells, these are the neoplastic cells which are mononuclear, spindle, ovoid to round in shape with presence of scanty cytoplasm and the plump central nuclei are present with nucleoli. And the second type of cells are the Jane cells. Due to presence of these cells, the tumor has been named as the Jane cell tumor. So these Jane cells are present between the stromal cells. So these are the Jane cells. The Jane cells present in this Jane cell tumor are the multinucleate Jane cell with 5 to 100 nuclei are scattered diffusely all over the tumor. And in this tumor, you should remember the areas of the hemorrhage, necrosis, hemosiderin deposition and the vascularity are seen. So the areas of hemorrhage, necrosis, hemosiderin and the vascularity is seen. So guys, this is all about the Jane cell tumor of the bone. To revise once again, the Jane cell tumor is the benign non-cancerous condition which is most commonly seen in the adults of age group 20 to 40 years of age which mainly occurs in the end of the bones. In the gross appearance, the tumor looks well circumscribed and it is firm and soft and on palpation, it produces a sound like of the crackling of an eggshell. And coming to the cross section, in a cross section, the Jane cell tumor of the bone looks solid cystic and the tan light brown areas of intervening thin fibrous trabeculae and the areas of hemorrhage are seen and the cortex is thin in the cross section. Coming to the microscopy, in the microscopic examination we can note two types of cells. Those are the Jane cells and the stromal cells. So in this diagram, these cells are the stromal cells. You can note the cells here. These are the stromal cells which are spindle shaped and these are the multinucleate Jane cells. So let's know about these cells in detail. The stromal cells are the neoplastic mononuclear that means with single nuclei and spindle shape sometimes ovoid and round with scanty cytoplasm and pump central nuclei with nucleoli are seen. And coming to the second component of this tumor, those are the Jane cells. The Jane cells present in this tumor are the multinucleate Jane cells in which you can see the presence of 5 to 100 nuclei which are scattered diffusely all over the tumor. So these are the Jane cells. These are the multinucleate Jane cells. And remember, the areas of hemorrhage, necrosis, hemosiderin deposition and the vascularity is seen.
So guys, this is all about the histopathology of the Jane cell tumor of the bone. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do check on my recent videos and playlists.